Hey guys, it's Danny, and we have just wrapped up another Facebook Live that I needed to share with you guys because this recipe is a must have. This is Brussels sprouts for people who think they don't like Brussels sprouts. And when I tell you, this is the best Brussels sprout recipe you will ever eat. It's the kind of recipe that will blow your mind. It will blow your Brussels sprout mind, whatever that means. So check it out, let me know what you think, and I'll see you back here soon. Bye. Hello, hello my friends, coming at you live on Friday evening here in New Jersey. Pitch black outside. We're trying something different today because a lot of you guys in my last newsletter, and I wrote to you guys and you said you wanted me to try some different times for the Facebook Live. So ask and ye shall receive, tis the season. So um, I'm here today guys, I wanna share with you guys a recipe for Brussels sprouts. And the whole thing about these Brussels sprouts is they are called Brussels sprouts for people who believe that they don't like Brussels sprouts. Now, just for the record, all credit given, this recipe is from a cookbook called The Healthy Kitchen. This is a cookbook I bought like 10 years ago, a long time ago, when I was really trying to transition to eating better and making changes in the kitchen. Um, and this is Dr. Andrew Weil. And I bought this cookbook and this recipe caught my eye. I think the name of it caught my eye. Um, and I have to tell you, it's, I mean, I made it for the first time like 10 years ago and it has stood out in my mind ever since. So I was like, you all need to know about this recipe. So that's what we're gonna be making today. I'm gonna pull up my phone really quick so I can see comments coming in. Um, guys, as you sign in, please come down to the comments below, say hello, let me know who's watching and where you are watching from, and we will get this party started. Okay, so behind me, I have a big old pot of boiling water. And that's because the basic technique for these Brussels sprouts is that we are going to boil them. It's basically like we're gonna blanch them. And then we're gonna finish them off with some flavorings, with the oil and everything we're gonna mix in. Okay, guys? So um, let's get those into the pot and then I'll show you how I prep the Brussels sprouts because they're gonna be in there for about five minutes. So I'm just gonna, you can even stay right there. I'm just gonna gently slowly let these go right into the pot. So that's about a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna put my timer on for five minutes. We're gonna let those soften up. Yeah, go take a look. And they're gonna become a nice, beautiful, bright green color. See, so they're just gonna go like four or five minutes, not a super long time. You got some people saying hi. Okay, see, they're not coming up on my phone yet. I'm gonna refresh. Are you on Wi-Fi? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay, oops, okay, I see you coming in, guys. Yeah, 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 okay, we, oh my gosh. Oops, okay. Oh my gosh. We have Sapriya, Cheryl, Poonam, Katie from Atlanta. So, oh my God, Sagi. You even came on um, Snapchat. We chat all the time. You told Sagi. me how to say Sagi, his Sagi. name. It's like one in the morning for you right now. And you stayed up to watch. Thank you. Thanks for being here, guys. You're going to be happy, though, because you're all going to want this recipe. Brussels sprouts are super in season right now, and it, these are great for a holiday table. Katie, you were asking me about um, holiday brunch ideas. These would be a beautiful addition to a dinner or a brunch. I'm telling you, these are like mind-blowing Brussels sprouts, okay? So all I did to the Brussels sprouts that are in the pot was, these are little guys, um, you trim off the bottom if they're dry, Right? Well, usually they are. If you buy them off the stock, those stems are usually going to be dry. You just trim them off and then cut them in half. Okay, simple, simple. That is what I did with all of the Brussels sprouts. Can you see that? That are in the pot. So this is the way you would prep the Brussels sprouts before you get them in the pot. Okay, guys? Trim, slice in half. Now, the other ingredients that are going to go into... Um, yes, Christina... Yay! Thank you for joining. I love having you here live. I love doing this live stuff. I like it so much that I'm doing it on a Friday night because I'm like, I got nothing better to do. I just want to hang out with you guys. <laughs> Come in here and cook. Okay. Now let me show you the other triage of Did ingredients. You wash before you of course. Yeah, always wash. Smart. Always wash her. Let me show you the tr the other ingredients that are gonna like make these blow your mind. Come on in, bang. So you're gonna use a hunk of fresh Parmesan cheese that I've grated down. I'll show you how it in the fridge. We're using lots of fresh garlic. That's here. Then I have red pepper flakes, so it's got a good kick to it, a, a good amount of salt, and we have um, fresh grated nutmeg, which I'm also gonna show you guys how to do. But this combination, guys, it's 
The, honestly, this combination will make any type of leafy green taste delicious. Another great addition to this would be a little bit of anchovy. You can melt it in with the garlic and the oil. Little, those little things that take simple ingredients and give them like, woo, flavor. Very umami, depth, earthy deliciousness, okay? So let me get my cheese out of the fridge too. Oh, we're gonna it. Okay. And we're gonna give those Brussels sprouts one more minute and then we're gonna drain them out. But mm. I wanna show you guys. So I showed you how I prepped that. Now what I'm gonna show you is the garlic. You see how I got rough chopped garlic in there? I already peeled my garlic, and then guys, all you do with your knife is you just come in with your garlic, you give it a rough chop, pull it back to the center. Look at your fingers. Hit it from another direction. You want me to talk about my fingers? Is that yeah, what you said? Like so look at the fingers. I, you know, if there's one thing I could beg you guys to do to make your cooking easier and like faster, quite honestly, is learn how to use your knife, right? Because once you learn how to use a knife, everything happens faster in the kitchen and it makes it more, um, you know, like doable and like desirable because it doesn't feel like a nuisance, okay? I'm gonna leave that for a second because my Brussels sprouts were kind of small, so I wanna drain those out. Because you don't, you really just wanna get that, you want them to get tender, but you see how they're still a bright green color? That's what we want. So I'm gonna take these over to the sink and I'm just gonna drain them into my colander. Are you with me, B? Yeah. So I have some a hot mess. Yeah, it's a little messy. Welcome to real life in the clean and delicious kitchen. All right. Give yourself a little mini facial. We're gonna use this very same pot to season them up, okay? So I'm gonna let them sit there for a minute, B, while we finish up these ingredients. Luachana, Luachana, Luachana. Hey, Danny, you're watching you live. Made your rosemary chicken last night. So good, awesome. I'm so happy to hear that. I have to, I actually have a couple of chicken recipes that I wanna share with you guys um, in the new year. Hey guys, which reminds me, if you guys have anything that you like really wanna see me do for January, for the new year, which I know is, you know, after the holidays, we're all gonna be really ready to get it clean and delicious. Let me know down in the comments below because I'm working on that production schedule right now. So I love, um, I'd love to make sure that I'm hitting some of the things that you wanna be seeing. Okay, so we've got our chopped garlic. That was for our Brussels sprouts. Boom, I'm at garlic, red pepper flakes. See that pink? Um, this is fresh grated Parmesan cheese. You can buy it pre-grated, but like with all ingredients, guys, the fresher you can buy them, the more whole you can buy them, the more delicious they're gonna taste. So what I like to do is buy it like this in the block, and then I use this microplane, and you just shed it, and it's literally shred it, and it's like snow. You see this? And these hard cheeses, guys, these are also great on a cheese plate. So leaving like a nice hunk of cheese like this in your fridge, it lasts a long time, it's a hard cheese, so they don't go bad quickly. And they're nice to like slice up with some fresh fruit, or if you like you had somebody last minute dropping by, you could slice this up with a little bit of fresh fruit and maybe some nuts or something and just make a very simple, delicious cheese plate. And like I said, it lasts in the fridge for a long time, super versatile. Okay, and then finally our nutmeg. And for the nutmeg, you can buy pre-grated nutmeg, but um, uh, Jennifer Santana is watching with my kids right now. Hi, Jen. Thank you for watching my kids so I could do this. <laughs> um, um, whenever you're using a fresh nutmeg, you need so much more flavor because, bang, come in close really quick. Can you see, can you see all those little squigglies throughout the nutmeg? Mm -hmm. Those are the essential oils in the nutmeg. So it's super fresh, it's super fragrant, and it's super flavorful. So when you can get it fresh like this and you just get a little mini microplane, I leave this right by my coffee maker because I like to put this on top of like if I make a cappuccino or something and you just shed it in, shred it in, and it's just like the cheese, it's just mini. And it's very, very soft, and nutmeg is such a great addition to greens. Vegetables, and, um, oh, we have Laura O live too. Hey, Laura, welcome. We're, we're making Brussels sprouts for people who don't think they like Brussels sprouts, so pay attention. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so, nutmeg. okay, so I think I finished it. Fresh yeah. nutmeg, do it yourself very flavorful it has this nutty flavor to it so it's a great um, complement to the parmesan cheese and to any leafy green so 
I first learned that that was like an aha moment for me. I didn't know that you could use nutmeg when cooking savory foods, but it really adds such a great, especially this time of year with the holidays, guys, put a little in your greens and you really surprise people. It's, it's a great way to take simple foods and give them a wow factor. You know, like you could put it into a frittata if you were doing like a frittata with some kale and cauliflower, you do a little bit of nutmeg. It just gives it that little bit of, hmm, what's, what is that? You know, it's a good conversation starter. Okay. Come back on over to the stove here. And I've never thought of combining nutmeg with Brussels. So clever, can't wait to try this, maybe for Christmas. It's such a good Christmas recipe. Do it, do it, do it. Let me bring my phone over with me. So what we're gonna do here, guys, hi, let me get all my ingredients, is I'm gonna start by getting a couple tablespoons of olive oil into the pot, okay? And we want that to heat up. Now I'm using about a pound and a half of Brussels sprouts, so that's probably not even two tablespoons of oil. You could go. <laughs> and the red pepper flakes. Okay. Give it a stir around. This will happen very quickly. Basically, with garlic like this, now I'm gonna turn my heat up a little. Now that we cooled the pan down, I'll turn the heat up a little bit. So I just want a light sizzle. Right? We do want to get the, the garlic lightly browned, but definitely not burnt. Okay, how good does that look? I mean, just the garlic and the oil and the red pepper flakes alone will make your house smell like love. Um, let me take a look here. What's happening in my comment section? Okay. I like to reduce the oil and add balsamic instead. Great tip, Sandra. Thank you for sharing that. Stephanie from Arizona just joined us. Yasna from Florida, New Poor. Hi, Danny, I love your recipes. They're simple and delicious. Vanessa from Nashville. Hey, guys, thank you guys for joining me. This is an aha moment. I only use nutmeg and carrot cake. I know. It was an aha moment for me, too, and I first learned about adding it to greens. You know who does it all the time? Rachel Ray. I don't know if you guys ever watch Rachel Ray, but she always adds nutmeg to her greens. Okay. Stay right there. Look at what's going on in the pot, babe. Now, what's gonna happen next is I'm gonna add those Brussels sprouts that remember, we already gave, we parboiled them, so they're already pretty much cooked through. They're tender. And you'll know they're not overdone because they still retain that bright green color. Can you see how beautiful the color is? Oh, this just smells so good. All right, so that's going in my pan with a little bit. I'm putting that nutmeg in. So that's about a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg. It's strong, so you don't need a lot. And I'm adding a teaspoon of salt, guys. Here's the key with home cooking. If you want your food to take amazing, don't be afraid of salt, right? When you want to worry about salt is when you're eating a lot of pro highly processed, pre-made foods, frozen foods, canned foods. That's where you get yourself in trouble with salt. When you're cooking real fresh whole foods, it's very hard to go over with the salt, okay? pull this in and like I said before Brussels sprouts are in season right now so this would be a great addition to any holiday menu brunch or dinner they'd be great um, as a buffet too because they're delicious room temperature so basically once all of my Brussels sprouts are coated in the oil and the spices I'm turning my heat way down because I don't want to overdo it with the garlic and I am going to Sprinkle in that grated Parmesan cheese. It's like snow. So it's about a half a cup of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. There's a little more, I like the probably uh, Give that a stir in. And you guys can see, if you were making this for a dinner for somebody, let's say you were gonna like, make this as a part of a dinner menu, you could parboil those Brussels sprouts and then leave them in the fridge so you have all like the dirty work done. Prep all of these other ingredients that are gonna go in the pot and then when it's dinner time, or when it's time to serve, you cut out all those steps and you can do this totally last minute. Okay, I'm gonna grab a pan if you wanna get a close up of what's going on in that beautiful mm -hmm. pot. If anybody has any questions, my dear, now is the time to ask. Someone asked about uh, doing it vegan without the cheese and substituting. Nutritional yeast? Yeast, yeah, what else? Um, was it almond flour, did you say? I don't know about the almond flour. I think the nutritional yeast could work. I'm gonna shut this off, let's bring it over to the counter. I'm not, I'm not feeling the idea of the almond flour. I don't think that's going to get me where you're trying to go. I, I, I'm not sure if you said exactly almond flour. She um, said something on it. But I do think um, you, could, you could do the nutritional yeast. If you're trying to get a cheesy flavor and you're not doing cheese, 
I'm thinking that would work for you. Okay, let's plate this up. Friday night cooking in the clean and delicious kitchen. Okay. Oh my gosh. This recipe gets me very excited. And what I'm going to do, guys, is like right at the end, we're going to end. Okay. okay. A few points I want to point out about these. When you boil them up, you want to make sure that you get them out of the pot while they're tender but still vibrant. Right? Because remember, when we're trying to get people to love their vegetables, giving people overcooked Brussels sprouts that are basically gray is not gonna get us where we're trying to go. We, we gotta keep it beautiful and fresh and vibrant because that's what gets people excited about eating. Um, veggies. Yeah, and fresh, beautiful foods like this. Okay, oh, I haven't made this in so long, I'm so excited. Oh no. Oh my God. the flavor is insane. OMG. Ooh, it's got a good kick. Okay, guys. Now, just because tis the season, we're gonna put a little more cheese over the top, okay? Tis the season for a little extra cheese, because it looks like snow, la 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 la. OMG, why does this make me so happy? La 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 la. As I'm looking at this, when I think about the holidays, you know what else I think would be great? If you really wanted to go crazy? Like a little chopped up walnut or a pecan, if you wanted to add like another layer to it. Cause you know sometimes for the holidays, you just want to like go all the way, slide it into home base, <laughs> take it all the way. So anyway, this my friends, this is the recipe for Brussels sprouts for people who think they don't like Brussels sprouts, okay? I'm gonna take a taste and I'm gonna describe it to you. Yeah, if you like this video, please share it. Sandra, I love your recipes and I always try them on my barbecue instead of the stove. I cook on a barbecue grill now. I love the barbecue smell. Oh, awesome. I've never tried that. Okay, um, I want to make sure I'm not missing anybody's comments. All right, let's give them a try, guys. So you can get, let's get in there. Um, I wish, I really wish we had smell-o-vision, right? Because you, I, you don't, whatever you're making for dinner tonight, just do garlic red pepper flakes, olive oil, the Parmesan cheese, and the nutmeg. I don't care what you're making. Just add it to that. And just so you can get this experience. <clears throat> I got the red pepper in my throat. Mm. The Brussels sprouts are cooked perfectly. They're tender, but still al dente. That's the way I like them. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for you guys to try this. Okay, so listen up, my friends. Friday night, come down to the comments below. Let me know what days and times you want me to do Facebook Lives. We're doing them right now on Fridays. We usually do them at 11.30 in the morning. I tried to do a different time so I can see if other people that can't usually make it could make it so we can get a little variation, get everybody, get everybody on here live. Um, but I do wanna hear from you guys. Also, if you have any ideas or requests for the new year, down in the comments below, let me know about them. Okay, guys? Thank you guys so much for joining me here tonight. Hey guys, if you have a classic dish that you want Dana to clean up, let her know. Yes, that's another thing I would be focusing on the new year is taking some of the classics and cleaning them up. Like, you know, spaghetti and meatballs, chicken noodle soup, um, chicken parmesan, whatever, meatloaf. Some of the classics, because I get a lot of requests for that. And so I wanna make sure that we have options. Because I do think, you know, especially with kids, I find this with kids too. I think about kids, that's another video I wanna do. Like kids' snacks and, you know, sometimes we want to have those the classic dishes and like, how can we do it a little bit more clean and delicious, right? So we're gonna be doing a bit of that in the new year as well. So thank you guys for joining me. I am gonna uh, wrap it up here. Uh, we'll see you, this will be up on YouTube tomorrow and make sure you tune in on Monday because we'll be sharing a brand new recipe with you guys. It's gonna be a beef and broccoli stir fry. Okay, so exciting. Thank you for joining, I'll see y'all soon, bye.